It is January 2nd, 2023, and I just got back from my first visit this year to the Lego store, where as you guys can see, I picked up a massive bag full of Lego sets that I'm so excited to show you here in today's haul video. So let's get right into it. So I originally went on January 2nd here because I wanted to pick up the new Jazz Modular building. And unfortunately, that did not happen because by the time I got to the Lego store, they were all sold out, as you guys would have seen in the video. But I unfortunately still did a decent amount of damage. I'm not happy about it because I was not planning to do that today. Uh, but I am very excited for some of these sets that I picked up. So for starters, one of the first sets that I'm so excited and the reason why I stayed in line even after finding the Jazz Club was sold out was because I wanted to get this gift with purchase. It is set number 40580. The Blacktron Cruiser Space System, 356 LEGO pieces, 18 plus. It is a great little classic space set. It's going to go so well with the Galaxy Explorer right there. I, I'm a big, big fan of this one. It looks really, really awesome, and I love the box. And you have to spend $250 to get this gift of purchase, but totally worth it. That's actually not the only gift of purchase I got in this haul. I also received set number 40605, the Lunar New Year VIP add-on back with 124 LEGO pieces. And of course, now let's start getting into some of the sets that I actually paid money for. So for starters, I picked up two of the brand new Star Wars brick headset. The first one being 40539 as well as 40615. We've got the Tusken Raider here and however you say that one. This is brickhead number 150. This is brickhead number 182. Both of these are ones that I have not, you know, obviously did not have my Lego collection. I collect all the brick heads. So these were a necessity to add. And that's not all the brickheads I picked up in today's haul. I also picked up set number 40550, the Chippendale brickhead, which is brickhead number 163 and 164. I also picked up the brand new 2023 Lord of the Rings brickheads, which is set number 40631, the Gandalf the Grey and Balrog, whatever it is, 185 and 186. As well as the new Avatar brickheads, which is set number 40554, the Jake and Jake Sully, 180 and 181. And just when you guys thought I was done picking up brickheads from this haul, I also picked up set number 40542, the FC Barcelona Go Brick Me, which is an opportunity to make yourself into a Barcelona brickhead, which is really, really cool. And last but not least, I picked up the Manchester United Go Brick Me set, which is the exact same style as the Barcelona one, and it's set number 40541. So many brickheads. Back to regular sets, I picked up set number 31133, The White Rabbit. This one's got 258 LEGO pieces and is actually a 3-in-1. Originally, when I saw this on LEGO Shop at Home's website, I totally thought it was just a seasonal set. Figured it'd be like 19 bucks or something like that. But no, it is actually a creator 3-in-1. So I really missed that one, but it's still really cool looking. I also picked up the new 2023 LEGO City Penguin Slushy Van. This is set number 60384, 194 pieces. Thought it was a cool looking one and would be great for my LEGO City. City. And of course, I want to pick up the seasonal sets while they're still available. This is set number 40638, the heart ornament, 254 Lego pieces and fully customizable for Valentine's Day. And not entirely sure if this is counted as a seasonal set, but it is set number 40644, the Lego Pinata. And finally, the last set I picked up is set number 40651, the Australia postcard. This one is already out of stock on the Lego Shop at Home, which is crazy. And last but not least was five random Series 24 Lego minifigures because I want to make a video opening some of these up. And they're completely randoms. I did not do any feeling or anything like that. So I'm excited to see which figures will be inside. Awesome. So this is actually the most Lego sets I picked up in a really long time. Time. other than like Christmas and stuff like that this is definitely the biggest Lego haul I've done in quite a while I'm very very excited for a lot of these sets I cannot wait to build them and show you them here on my YouTube channel I was a little disappointed of course that I wasn't able to get the jazz modular building like I wanted to today but that's okay because I'm hearing rumors that there will be a special gift with purchase for that in February so I'll probably wait now because I've blown my month's budget on Lego already but I'm very excited because like the blessing in disguise or like the silver lining of this is now I have so much Lego Lego sets, so many new Lego sets to make content for here on my YouTube channel, which I'm very, very excited about. I can, I'm so excited to review some of these sets or just build them or whatnot here on the channel. So it's going to be really, really awesome. And uh, definitely make sure you check out all these videos that I'll be making very, very soon because I really would like to pay off my credit card from this Lego haul. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. I'm looking forward to seeing you here in the next video, and I cannot wait to show you some of the content I'll be making of these sets coming very, very soon. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.